Hi guys, welcome back to Data Every Day. Uh, today we're looking at a data set of citrus fruit, uh, namely oranges and grapefruit. And we're going to try to predict whether a given fruit is an orange or grapefruit based on its diameter, weight, and color. So uh, let's hop into the notebook. Uh, we'll be using logistic regression, uh, similar to my last video, including uh, logistic regression CV, which uses stratified k-fold uh, cross-validation to optimize the uh, and it, it automatically optimizes the hyperparameters uh, to increase the accuracy. So we'll compare the results from the regular model and the model, the CV model. All right, we'll be using uh, NumPy and pandas and just these two uh, standard scalar and train test split function from sklearn for preprocessing. So I'm gonna load those in and let's get the data using pandas.readcsv and get the file path over here from citrus.csv paste it in and take a look. And it's a very simple data set. Luckily we have uh, 10,000 rows. That's a good good amount of data, uh, but only six columns. Uh, not, it does not have to be processed any further. Let's just quickly check for null values. And you can see there are no null values fully filled out. And the only column we have to actually do anything to is the name column. So uh, let's just encode the labels. So um, data sub name, that's this name column. Uh, let's check the value counts. It's a good way of understanding the class distribution. And you can see it's, fi it's exact 50-50 split. This is sort of like a toy data set. I don't know, it's, it's not, it's definitely a very clean, very uh, easy to use. Uh, you rarely get such a nice split like this. Uh, but let's map the uh, names to uh, label like integers. So label mapping will be a dictionary that's going to map a uh, orange. How about we'll make orange zero and grapefruit one. All right, and then all we have to do is say data sub name equals data sub name dot replace label mapping. So you can actually just pass the dictionary into replace function and it will uh, apply the mapping to each element in the series. So if you look at data, we now have zeros and ones where before we had oranges and grapefruits. And that's it. That, that's all we have to do to pre-process our data. I mean, we still have to scale it. Uh, so let's say splitting and scaling. Uh, we're going to split it into y and x. y will be what we're trying to predict, which is the name. And we'll, we'll just make a uh, deep copy of that. And then x will be everything except the name. So we're going to drop it and make a copy of that. All right, then we'll create a new scalar object, which will be a standard scalar from sklearn. And we're going to scale x. Uh, for, first, we're going to fit the scalar to x and then transform x accordingly. That will give each column an x, which will be, uh, it'll, it'll, it'll give each column a, a mean zero and unit variance. So diameter will have mean zero, unit variance, weight will, and so on. Uh, and then we will split it into a train and test set. So we have x and y, and we're going to call the train test split function on x and y to create x train, x test, y train, and y test. And we'll specify a train size, 70%, and I'm going to include a random state so that we can uh, reproduce the results. This can be any number. I'll just make it 20. Okay. Now we're ready to train. Alright, so we're going to make two models. Uh, one will just be logistic regression, and the other will be a logistic regression CV. So the base model, uh, this will be just the logistic regression, and we'll fit it to the training set. Uh, then let's print out the accuracy value and I'll just format the string here so we can see four decimal places dot format and 
and I'll plug in. All right, so let me just store the results. We can get the accuracy from base model dot score, and we're scoring it on the test set. And I'll call that base ac for base accuracy, and we'll plug base ac right in here. And we end up with an accuracy of 94%. That's pretty good. Um, let's see if we can get better results by automatically searching uh, for the optimal inverse regularization strength uh, for the logistic regression model, which is precisely what the CV model does. So I'm going to call it CV model, and that's going to be logistic regression CV. And uh, similar to what we did before, we're just going to fit it on the train set. So CV model dot fit, X train, Y train, and then CV accuracy we'll get from uh, CV model dot score x test y test and we can print it out the same way let's copy that and this will be CV ac and it went up by a few points we're now at 96 percent so you can see there's a clear uh, increase in um, accuracy only thing is this model will take longer to train now because we have so few features and not that many rows this it wasn't really noticeable, um, but the the bigger our data set, the lo the longer this will be. Um, by default, this uses five folds in the cross validation, uh, so it will generally take five times as long to train uh, as this one. All right, so I know this was a very short video. I just wanted to give a quick tutorial on an easy data set. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for more content, and leave any comments you have in the section below. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a fantastic day.